Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. picture on and hi there it's uh it's friday and uh it is uh uh the beginning of a weekend uh you slope down a little wait a minute the trouble is i gotta your cameras too you see you never come in i never can get you to come in and no, it's, i'm always in here it, it, uh, well, just, so i can't i, I can't get say, you come in a couple minutes and so i can adjust it, well, you don't you don't do it. So. Well, you never ask, huh? You didn't ask. So I can't I can't adjust. So now I got to adjust. Well, you never and, ask. Well, I so no. I when I ask you, oh, bullshit. okay, I can, I, it's it's too much time. It's too much time. Never, huh? Never. There we go. That's a little. That's a little better. A little better. A little better. You sound better. like Trump. You live huh? in your own little bubble. Wait a minute. I, own, I live in my own little bubble. Yeah. I'm like Trump. You sound just like is, Trump. Is that nice for you to say? There we go. I guess that's that's better. For some reason, you're you're too big. Maybe Should I move back? I down a little bit here. So. Should I move back? Huh? Should I move back? Well, I I don't know, but you for some reason I have you uh, zoomed. No, I have you. Zo- <laughs> no, that's, How's that? No, that's that's not good. That's not good. Anyway, uh, that's Hi. that's that's girlfriend. How are you? See, you're taking up more of the frame than me. I can't figure this out. Just get closer. Just get closer, and let me adjust it once again. Uh, it's fine with uh, me. It's ten oh eight. No, but it's not okay with me, and that's the problem. Did I miss Damien? Huh? Did I miss him? You might have. If the picture uh, turns blue. You. It, that's the new way you can tell. What do you mean the picture turns? Is it, it you, the background? You'll see. Yeah, background disappears. Let me see here. Uh, configure video, and there we go. And what do you know? It's it's still. It's as far back as it can go. I, I don't know why you're not smaller than you used to be. <laughs> oh well. It's called life, huh? It's called life. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm. I, I'm. You know. Well. Anyway. Anyway. Let me, Hello. Let me go to. Let me Hello. go to the split screen here, and we can. Uh, uh, there we go. See, I mean, next week. Before we do this, you're going to come in 10 minutes ahead of time. We're going to set it up because see how small I am in comparison to you? Oh, Alex, nobody's comparing huh? size. <laughs> but it's a, 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 here, I know what I can do. Here we go. I just do this. There you go. Well, then that's too little. Let me see here. There we go. Uh, uh, this is this is not working. It's all right. No, no it's not all right. Oh, jeez. Now it's really screwed up. Well, don't blame it on me. No, now you're not even in the picture. That's fine. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me do this. Help. Then, th- there we Help. go. There we go. Now, Help. More, more, more. There we go. Huh? No, it's not there. Damn it! I can't. I can't do this. This won't work. It's okay. It's ten ten. Hmm. Just rolling on on. Everybody, you see? There's a there's a problem here. Here we go. Now let me do that. And now that's too high. And now we go. We do do that. I can't, I can't get it to work. It was fine. It, no, it isn't fine. It was it, fine. It's not fine now. It was fine before you fucked it up. There we go. Now I do this. And how is that? We can't even see it. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Uh, there we go. That's why I hate doing this thing on TV. Because they do things like this. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, now, oh, now that looks there right. There we go. That looks right now. Okay. <sighs> Uh, it took 11 minutes. It, did it take 11 yeah. minutes? Well, yeah. it, uh, we have nothing else to talk about anyway. So. Are you going to show the Costco? Uh -huh. In a while, not now. Oh, I wanted to see it before I went to bed. Well, but you'll see it before you go to bed. Okay. You'll just... see it when you finally roll over here. You won't be I'm able ready. to see it from there. I'm ready to roll over. You're not ready to roll over yet. It's not roll over time. Huh. Uh boy. It's, it's a, Friday, it's Friday. There's bum, nobody bum, watching bum, this bum. thing anyway, anymore. Nobody watches this show anymore. Nobody, nobody you, does you don't talk even to watch, old people. You don't even, you don't even, <laughs> you, you don't even watch I it I watch anymore. it. No, you don't. After Morning Joe, I watch it. it oh, After Morning after Joe. After Morning Joe. Yeah, you have to watch Morning Joe. So at 9 o'clock, I put you on. What do you do? You sit at work all day watching TV? Well, I don't watch it. I have the earphones. I work. You work? I mean, once in a while I look up and I see Is that see what something. you do when I'm sleeping? Yeah, I work. You work? Yeah. I see. Anyway, so um, um, uh, I have nothing to talk about. You went on vacation last week. I wouldn't exactly call two days of vacation. It was a long weekend. All right. It was a long weekend. You took a long weekend. Right. It was right. nice. So tell me about your long weekend. Went tell to them. Burlington to visit friends. It sounds tinny. Will you just talk? See, do you see what I have to go through? They can't hear that. Do you see? I what turned I have up to go? the volume so you could hear it better, but I'll turn it down now. Oh, I don't care. It just sounded tinny. Oh boy! So I went to Vermont to visit friends. It's just the sound of your voice. It was a. <laughs> what? Go ahead. go ahead. It was a girls' weekend. It was really nice. It, it, that was it. That was it. What did you do? We talked, walked. Yeah. Kayaked. You kayaked. Ate. That's about it. Shopped. Yeah, and then today you had me put cream on your back for sun poisoning. You know, I've never heard of sun poisoning. I honestly believe that's something you invented. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look it up in your Google. Sun poisoning? Yeah. Really? You never heard of it? Never heard of it. I've heard of sunburn. No, this is... Beyond sunburn. What is it? It it gets it could get infected, but it's like another it's like a degree more. Of sunburn called sun poison. Well, it gets serious. I'm going to look it up. I'll please bet do you it right now. What? You'll bet no. me how much? What? Uh, I'll, I'll put I'll, the money up or shut up. Well, I'm not going to bet you money. I'm you never gonna. bet. Well, no, because I might lose. But sun poisoning. Poison. Oh, here it comes right up. Sun yeah. Poisoning. No shit. Okay. Sun poisoning uh, can become severe. Uh, you can become severely sunburned if you stay in the sun a long time and don't wear protection. That means you have to wear a condom when you're out. In the <laughs> That's sun. right. Over no. the whole body. Okay. And and then it it goes on to say. Uh, uh, you are more likely to sunburn if you have light skin and fair hair. Well, that's not you. Severe sunburn or sun poisoning can cause symptoms such as the following. Skin redness and blistering, pain and tingling. Now, did you have any of those? Yeah. I didn't have the blistering this time, but I have both. But you have pain and tingling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, was that exciting up there getting... Oh, I love it. Yeah, First it, of all, it was, it was a nice break from you. Yeah. I love you still, but it was nice. Oh, it was nice not having you here. Yeah, it was a girls' it, weekend. It was a, it was it was, a me weekend. And Charlie, Adrian's husband, kind of like took us all under his wing. We felt like, what was the one about the, um, is it the Quakers, the Mormons? Remember they in New Jersey, they all lived together? What? The movie, the TV show. You mean The Sopranos? No, no, it was about, it was about a Mormon family. That, they lived in Nevada. Well, wherever they live. It's a far way from New Jersey. Well, it looked like She's New Jersey. describing the show. It's, it, it, you mean Big Love? Big Love. That took place in, 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 uh, it, it took place in, in uh, Utah. Well, it was like Charlie Utah. was Big Love. <laughs> he took care of us. Oh, uh, okay. So you were the, you were the, 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 we were the, the bur wives? The wives. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and it was nice up there? It was, it was great. A, you said it was hot. Though. It was hot, but the evenings, it does cool down. Yeah? 
Yeah, well, you're yeah. up there in the mountains. They have a very nice place up there, and it's really... Uh, really nice. Really enjoy it. But this year, we, we were going to go on a long trip, but now we're not. Yeah, my office is moving, <laughs> either sometime in uh, September, October. What happened? What happened? What, what is making noise? Don't blame me. I don't, uh, you're touching something. Anyway, uh, uh, so your your company is moving. Yeah. That's because you were in the same offices with another company, right. That went out of business. Well, they're not pre they're not performing, so they're they're not performing. They're winding is, down. Is that is that the new way of saying our company's going out of business? They're we're winding not down. We're not performing. They're winding down. Oh, uh, so how long uh, do you have to stay in that office? So you have a rent, don't you? Well, we have the lease till March, but we're going to try to get out of it. How do you do that? I don't know. Um, you leave it to somebody else, huh? Well, I'd probably it's have to deal with it, but at some point I don't, I don't have to deal with it right now. So you're looking for new digs? Yeah. You, have you found any? Found some that are promising, and they're still in the same neighborhood. They want to stay in the same neighborhood. Yeah, yeah well. I would like to go a little further west. But well, why don't you stay near the, in the neighborhood as long as I'm doing my... Uh, physical therapy. Physical therapy, which is right across the street from me. Here's what she does to me. She says, you got to do your physical therapy, so make it like around, you know, 2 o'clock, 2.20 or something, because I get off at 3, and then we can go home together. Except this Thursday. Yeah, I was no, booked. this has happened all the time. I was booked. With the last time that I had it, it was the same thing. Oh, I can't do it today. i got to get my nails done. I was Can't booked. do it today. I've got to get my hair done. I was booked. This woman takes more maintenance than a car. Well, that's what happens when you get older. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. But anyway, so uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it, eh. yeah. What? Well, I just, you know. Uh, I, you had I, a good I, time. I bet you ate in bed. Huh? I bet you ate in bed while I was gone. I, I once I, I kind of ate in bed. Yeah, I had some uh, s uh, chicken salad. <laughs> so I figured I would do it just to be. I saw the stains. Huh? I saw the stains. The stains? Oh, okay. So anyway, I got a few things I have to do here while we're talking. It's uh, 1018. It's fine with me. Basically, this is supposed to be a, a radio program, so, you know, an audio program. So, I, you know, but uh, I just... Can I roll over? No, it's not even close to at rollover time. Here we go. I got to fix my... There we go. There's that. All right. Okay, everything's okay. Safe. Okay, so anyway... Um, where were we? Oh yeah. So I, I, when you, when you were, when you're gone, I pretty much do what I would normally do for you when you were here. Okay. Nothing. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I make the bed every day. Okay. Okay. I mean, I could go ahead and not make the bed, and you wouldn't know the difference. That's true. But here's what I did. I didn't make the bed. Because you sleep on top. Because I slept on top of the bed with a comforter over me. And I like that. I would rather do that, especially in this hot weather. I like to get under the sheets. Yeah, but then you don't get under the sheets because you throw the sheets to the side. I do not. And so uh, I, it was, I didn't have to make the bed because the bed was already made. All I had to do was put the comforter back in the well, right that's place. not my problem. And then I decided one night, one night I said, oh, here I have some chicken salad. You know what? I'm gonna go eat it in the bedroom. Because it would drive her nuts if she knew I was I was almost, almost going to call you and <laughs> FaceTime you with me eating in bed. Because that would drive you up a wall, right? It would drive me crazy. You, you get nuts over things well, like that. Well, because you're such a slob. I'm well, not I a mean, slob. we have to put a bib on him because it's 99% guaranteed that something's going to spill out of his slob. mouth. On well, the way from the bowl to his mouth, it's going to be all over the bed. I'm not a slob. I'm not. Mm. I swear to you, I'm not a slob. You know? He is. Huh? You should look at the floor next to his side of the bed. What's wrong with my side of the bed? On the floor? There are pants there. Yeah, a lot, a lot of pants. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, every night you put your clothes out for the next day. Every day I have my clothes put out for that day, and they're on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to jump in. Yeah, no, I mean, usually I, I, I have a pair of pants there. That's about it. Good. Usually. Good, good, good. Yeah. And my shoes. And your shoes. But you never complain about it. No, I just accepted it. You, only in that little section. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
But otherwise, so I, I, I felt like, you know, okay, she's not here. I can eat in the bed. I'll mm -hmm. do that. That will, you know. And I made sure that I was, didn't spill anything. I saw stains. There were no stains. Well, I don't know what kind of stains they are. The, the <laughs> Who knows? The, the stains... Are. Oh, but there aren't stains there. I see more stains on your side of the bed. Because you turn the thing around. I know you do that. What? You turn the blanket around. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. You just say, you're, you you're say saying, you don't doesn't mean you don't do it's it. It's enough trouble to make that bed without taking that cover and turning it over or around or whatever so that it looks like you made the mess. You do that all the time. No. Yes. You, I, it's 1021. It, it's good. I want to see the film. And not yet. Not yet. I said not yet. Okay. So and anyway, so what happened? Nine more minutes. So while you're away, uh, the only other thing that I do while you're away is I have all my girlfriends And over. you sleep. And have you, the girlfriends over. That's fine. You know what, you know what I l actually like about you not being here? is that I can turn on the TV set, and when I get tired, I start dozing off. And then I can just turn it off and doze off watching television. I can't do that when I'm in the other room. Well, you have, like, other rooms where there's TVs. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if I get drowsy, I then have to turn it off and go lie in the bed, and then I'm kind of awake because I you got undrowsy. You stay in that bed. Oh, really? Whatever makes you, you comfortable. Well, I, it, it'd be comfortable staying in your bed. Okay. So we got our electric bill this month, five oh five hundred bucks, just for the electricity. Well, because I keep the air conditioning. I'm going to stop turning keeping the air conditioning on in here now because this is. Well, not I can that see way. when you have a show like now. But yeah, but a, a, during I, the day, if it's if it's hot, just keep the doors open and the fans. But it's been so hot lately Seven that I've minutes. had to turn it on at ten o'clock in the morning and leave it on. Yeah, but the and by the time the I do a show, should do it. it's somewhat cool in here. But man, I mean, we only have two air conditioners we use a lot, but we had them on so much. Well, you last had the month. third one on also at times. Yeah, but very yeah. seldom. Very no, seldom. but we had it on nonstop. Usually, it's a handful of times. We had it on over for the about, summer. We had it on for about five solid days. Oh, easily. Yeah, and the, and because the whole heat wave stopped and then it came back but, again. Um, but fortunately, it's like ten BTU, which is not huge, but we turn it on and put it on high, and it actually cools the whole hallway and a little bit of the other yeah. bedroom. Yeah, you know, seven it, minutes. I'm what, what, just saying. It, it's only six minutes. Six minutes. See. Did you see him sign on and off? No, oh. I missed it. Okay. He does it right away. Yes, he's very good. Uh, it takes Jack about 15 minutes to do his show. Are you show. serious? Yeah. It takes Damien... About 30 seconds. I've watched him do it. Y yeah. But, he does but, it in under a minute. It, it, yeah, right after the show's over. He's, he's got it almost... Not right time. after, like maybe 10 minutes after. I'd, no, I'd say he does it within seven minutes. I'm always sitting here when he does it. Yeah, well, I can tell because I... Um, I could tell because uh, I could see You know, see when it. I run something like uh, an interview with Pearl or with Bubbles or uh, Ronnie or... or, or uh, um, um, Whoever, anyway. You know, our... Ah, oh boy, my mind. My mind. When you run it, you know the time. What were you going to say? Well, anyway, I, I then running something else so I can go over and download his stuff and put it ah, into the... I see. ...into the on-demand. And I always notice it about seven minutes after, it's there. It's there. He's yeah, fast. He's Damien fast. is good. Damien's very good at it. Very so. good. All right, Chase, roll over? No. No. Well, okay. Yes. Here, here's what you do. Roll over. I'm roll over. over. Roll over. It okay. Over. And I, show, I showed this again. last you night, but it by... But by... And you say Jack repeats himself. What? On his shows. No. You said that? No, he. Uh, there's a story that I put on one of the promos that we did, okay? On one of the promos that we did, where I uh, talked about how, how, where he talks about uh, falling in love with this Japanese woman or this Chinese woman in school. And last night I'm listening to his show, and he's doing the whole bit over again. And I'm thinking, doesn't he listen to our promos? <laughs> you know, that's redundant. Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, no. so tell, tell them the story. Huh? 
the little. Oh well, skill. we played this last night, but she wants me to play it again. No, you tonight. said I'm playing it again tonight. So I said, great. Don't say you're playing it because of me. You told me you were playing it again. Well, there's a downside to going to Costco with her. There are two downsides. Number one, it always costs more money because she always finds more things to buy than I would. No more gummy yeast. No more gummy yeast? No? Okay. Anyway, no more gummy yeast means no. gummy fiber. Fiber. I like those gummy fibers. Me too. But you still have a whole bunch of them, so I can eat them. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, we go to Costco, and, and she always, every time I take her, uh, we always wind up going past this certain aisle and she always does the same bit i mean it's been i, I don't think you've missed doing it when you have your camera on, i'm ready to roll no no but i but i've had the camera i had the camera rolling several times over the last year this is in all the times you did it oh i know you, you like to yell out hey alex and don't say what it is because they'll see it and then hey alex yeah and and everybody will then look over and say oh he needs those huh yes he does you know and uh so here now is a compilation of about <laughs> a year's worth of going to costco in two and a half minutes all right what were you saying i was saying it doesn't get old what doesn't get old <laughs> Extra large depends <laughs> for men's. They're upside down. Here we go. Men's extra large. There you go. For 64 ways. <laughs> oh, did you put it in your bag? No. Next to the potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now you got to lift it up and put it back in. Here, I'll put it back Oh, by in. the way, those are for women, I think. Oh, no, those are men. Those are men. Hey, 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 hey. Pays for horses. Yeah, yeah. You know what I almost did as a joke? What? I bought, was going to buy some frozen shrimp, shrimp scampi in a box. <laughs> I killed you. Because she's making... Shrimp scampi. Uh, oh, but you, you already picked yours up. Alex got you himself the wrong up. size and the wrong gender. Yeah, so I have to return these and get them and get the right one. Well, I'm getting out of here before you can do that. Here goes, oh, look, Alex. It depends on the extra large. Should I get you one? <laughs> they have a special. <laughs> She finds this very funny every week. Here we go. And then, <laughs> then she only has to put it back in there. Oh, oh you're gonna oh you're gonna drop it in my uh, Marjorie. Marjorie. Come back here. I Marjorie. What are you doing? Are you shopping? Huh? Is this the size you want? What what I'm over here doing other things. I did, I just ran right by there. Here. Maybe you need some. Oh, no. No. Long time since you needed those. <laughs> I'll get you the Depends. I got them for you because we know how you depend on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're yours right there. Huh? Exactly. You know, it's gay to the point where it's not funny anymore. <laughs> you still find that funny, don't you? <laughs> you still find that funny. <laughs> we can let these people through, please. <laughs> Once again, that's funny. My husband doesn't know how to pick out his depends. <laughs> he wears an extra large. <laughs> God, a small. I just want to say, I think it's awful that she's selling the entire supermarket. Costco's, not Fairway. You haven't seen him yet. Just, 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 you know. 
Okay, uh, there you go. Good. There you go. And it's ten thirty. There's your tribute. There's your tribute Thank to. Thank you, my uh, dear. It was. Um, I'm cute. Anyway, we we had to do it that way. I right? liked it. Open up the. Uh, I played it last night too. Oh, so okay. I, now we we'll never play it again. Yes, we will. Send it to me. No. I have some people I want to send it to. Just oh, good. It to good. Me. Oh, really? Send it to me as a really? file. Yeah. I mean, that tiresome, worn-out bit, right? <laughs> right? You going to do it? You going to yeah. do it? Yeah. Anyway, let me see here. Let me take care of that. Uh, update Skype. This per, for, oh, this version of Skype will be discontinued soon. To continue using Skype in the future, update to the latest version today. Fuck you, Skype. <laughs> Once that happens, I may have to close this show down or at least close down doing the video. Mm, no. Because it doesn't, it's not going to look good. Nah, don't but every that. every everybody else start calling so I can so th so this uh, look at look at this. You see this? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. So that goes away. Okay. Update Skype. This version of Skype will be discontinued soon. Well, you know that. You, uh, you, uh, you no, know. I didn't know that. Well, you knew. I just got the message that they, <laughs> they're finally going to discontinue it. Yeah, you knew it may happen. Well, yeah, but what they're going to do is the new version doesn't look good on the air. But isn't there something that is like Skype, but it's not? I wish there was. I wish there was something as easy for people to use, but I, you know, haven't been able to uh, haven't been able to find it. So we use one know. source conferencing yeah. in our office. So call me so that message will go away. Okay, uh, I don't uh, I don't like it. All right. Um, so uh, give me a call. Uh, well, the lines are open. This version of Skype will be discontinued soon. To continue using Skype in the future, update to the latest version today. Well, I'm not going to. Let them discontinue it. Once they discontinue it, we'll try the new one and see how it works. Or you know? there's other brands. No, there aren't other brands, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, and they're forcing us, they force us to do this thing, you know, and that really pisses me off. Where are the know? callers? Well, you know, that thing's going to be a pill free night. Uh, here no, we go. It's not a All right, here comes Phil Meyer. There he there is. There we go. Okay, now we got, now we got rid of that stupid looking sign. Yeah, Let's well, see. I don't know if the mic is working tonight. It's working it's tonight. Working. Yeah. Okay, no slap back, not, no. nothing like that? No. Not what, what was your problem? Uh, there's a defect in the board. The only way that I can control it is use, running it through the computer and using the uh, controls on the computer. So I'm returning it, and I've ordered another, a new one from uh, Adorama. Oh, I like oh, Adorama. Oh, oh, oh really? So, so that's going to like cost you an extra 600 bucks, right? Uh, it, well, it's free shipping. It's uh, no 1100 bucks. 1100 and bucks and you get free shipping. Wow. Well, what? this one Does was get a uh, 600 bucks a with the shipping. What? Is that for a microphone? This, no, it's for a, a, a new mixing board. Oh, is this called a mixing board? Yeah, yeah, what I have here. I have to get a new one myself because one of these pots is getting rather dirty. So. Well, I, I don't, uh, you know, the one I'm sending you, uh, uh, the, one of the channels is out. Or it and uh, through the and through the earphones, I hear static. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like it, throw it away. You know, or oh, okay, or fix it. You know. And yeah. with that, I'm gonna say good night. Okay, good night. Mm -hmm. See you, Phil. Thanks hey, for calling good night. in. Much appreciated. Yeah, well, I may have to discontinue this show altogether. You're looking good, Phil. I'm, Thank you. Yeah, Thank I may you. I may have to discontinue this show altogether. Why? If I yeah. have to go to a new version of Skype. Well, you deal with that when you have to uh, do it. Yeah, you know, I mean. Uh, do you Maybe use, it's, do you use that version of Skype? Uh, I don't think so. No, I, I I'm seeing everything uh, the way you know we normally do. Yeah. Uh, let me see what version. Uh, uh, check for updates. Um, oh, there is an update. It's ready to install. I will dismiss. Dismiss. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, uh, what is your what is your uh, what is your uh, Skype number? Because it, uh, if you go to I'm number one, no, no. Uh, if you go to <laughs> about, about Skype, it tells you. Yeah, I see the number. It's uh, seven point five nine parentheses thirty seven and parentheses. R what? It, now, are you using a, a, a Mac? Yes. 
Oh, well, this is 7.41.0.101, which is the latest one. And you well, say you have 7.52? 5.9. 5.9. And then there's a 37 in parentheses. Now, there's a new, there's an update available for me. Uh, and, you know, I'm not going to install it now because I've learned my lesson about that. Yeah. Well, I may install the new one and see what, you know, because I, I, I still have the ability to put in the old one. Well, how do you go back? Do you have to just delete the I new one? I just and delete the new one, and I have the uh, setup for it. But, you know, they, they're going to discontinue. You know, I, I hate those people. I just absolutely yeah. hate those people. What was wrong with this Skype? Maybe you should go back to the Mac uh, for the Skype. Now, you didn't like it as much, but um, it I'm may be sure, better than I'm sure you... they're going to discontinue it there, too. I, they're a little lazier. They're a little <laughs> lazier, but, uh, you know, uh, I, yeah, I could, I could do that, you know. Um, yeah. But it, uh, so how does, how does this board sound, even though it's got problems? It sounds fine. It doesn't yeah. sound any different than the other one. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, but all the potch should work. Well, anyway, I'm you know sending this one back. The guy was very nice. I spent 40 minutes this morning uh, with tech services at PreSonus, and uh, they figured out that there's something wrong with the hardware on this particular unit. Yeah, yeah. So, so. You, it, what do you do now? You bought that on eBay, right? Yeah, and uh, so I I filed a thing that I wanted to return it because it uh, was defective. Yeah. Uh, the guy had a 30 day uh, uh, warranty. Yeah. And uh, he made no bones about it. He's even sending me a ticket to send it back at no charge. Oh, OK. Well, that's fair. That's fair. And he, he offered me compensation for my time, but I turned it down. He said he'd give me eighty dollars, uh, you know, to compensate me for the inconvenience. Oh, that was very and, nice. Yeah, I, I told him. I said, you know, uh, all I want is to return the thing. I'd appreciate it if you pay for the return postage, but I don't want to be compensated. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. You know. You know, he's going to have to get it fixed anyway. Yeah. So maybe next week I'll actually go on with the new Skype and see how terrible it is. You you used it once, right? You had it no, running. No, I don't on, think so. You didn't have it running on your machine. No, you mean the one with the circles? Yeah, I, I've never I've never had that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know why. Uh, it's just uh, they on the Mac. It wasn't an issue. Have you tested it on the Mac to see what goes on? No, I may put it on the other, you know what I may do? I may put it on the other machine and then call you or something and see how All it right. works. You know? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then I, then I can, you know, deal with it on the other machine and not have to worry about screwing messing up, up this, this one, <laughs> messing up this one. Yeah. But of course yeah. those are Macs though. That's the only problem. I do have a PC I could hook up and just test it out on the PC. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I just it's not that I'm opposed to change. That's not the problem here. Yeah, uh, I understand. You like the look. I like of no, it's, the current it, version. It's, I like the way it looks on the air, you yeah. know, and uh, the well, other, if you can only see four guests, uh, then and, cut down the number of guests. Well, no, uh, if, no. If you can see four guests, but then I think as soon as somebody else talks, they, they pop up. You can see them. Well, that might be interesting. Yeah, it could be, or annoying. Well, uh, yeah, but you know when you have a product and you want to raise the price, yeah. uh, what, like diamonds, what you do is you say, well, there's a limited amount of diamonds, and so therefore you have to pay a lot of money. That's what De Beers does. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing with GabNet. If you want to have more callers, you'll, you'll limit it to four, and... <laughs> <laughs> you'll have that'll be the new full house i just don't i i just don't you know uh i i i, I don't like the idea of of having to use a new system uh yeah. i may have to just go back to doing the show in audio that's it you know um that, but that I mean, works but i mean i i just think you know there's been a lot of if you go online there's been yeah. a lot of hue and cry from people about uh, the uh, new Skype oh, that they, ju that they just it. don't like it. 
It is yeah. universally hated. Yeah. Okay. And if these people are trying to force it down our throats. Have you tried the stuff that uh, Rob has, the paid-for Skype, the business Skype? Uh, it, it, it's, it's no different. It's no different at all. Wow. And oh, you're getting surrounded. Uh, yeah, I know. SG is here. <laughs> SG, turn on your camera. I think he has it on. It's just uh, circling. No, it's not here. No? I see the circle. There we go. There goes the circle. And here yeah. comes a, he should pop in any minute now. There he, yeah. there he is. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, and now he's wearing dark glasses tonight. I am surrounded, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> by, hey. by, by right wingers. Yeah. What, what was the deal with this uh, 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 Cohen and the tape? And how could he release it if he was an attorney? Isn't there attorney-client privilege? Even if it not when is, they not when they raided his office and took the tapes. Ah. Uh, not when they I had see. a not when they had a uh, uh, what do you call it a, uh, a, a search, subpoena or, or a warrant or a search warrant or whatever. No. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, you know, and it, he I, he did it. I think he recorded them to protect himself. Yeah. You know. So that anything that happened was on the record. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? Three Republicans. Three Republicans. Not, wow. There's Patrick. This, Three this is Republicans. A bad night for liberals. Well, go ahead and beat up on me. <laughs> I'm ready to get beaten up on. Hey, we, we, we're the ones that love you best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, by the way, so anyway, if, if we have to go to this new Skype, I'll just do it and the show can look like shit. You know, I, uh, you know, you just have to accept sometimes you have no control over certain things and just accept it and deal with it. Well, you know, it, it would be nice if the people at fucking Microsoft would listen to the public, <laughs> you know, have they ever, you know, <laughs> because to begin with, you know, the people that create these programs aren't the mm -hmm. people who use them. Okay. And, That's a possibility. and the people who use them know what they need. And when they change something, I'm sure it's happened with Patrick with something like a graphics program or something, and they changed it for the worse. And nobody ever asked them because some guy back at Adobe is jerking himself off saying, look what I can do. You know, you know Adobe's culture is a little bit different, I guess, than Microsoft because when they developed Lightroom, uh, they they consult with so many photographers and and they uh, improve it all the time based on uh, photographer feedback. Uh, you know, it's uh, they they may have a different culture there than Microsoft. Not you know? from what I hear. Well, I I used to go to those uh, monthly Adobe. I know people who uh, work. Lightroom I meetings. know people who work there. Well, no, I I would. I would go to the uh, meeting and at Adobe uh, down on Townsend Street, mm -hmm. and uh, they'd serve free pizza, but I, I can't have that anymore. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they, uh, they would do a presentation every month. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that over at Microsoft, they, they haven't asked anybody, hey, when you use Skype, how do you use it? And what little things would make it comfortable? And if we added little circles and people popped in and out with that, would you like that? No, they don't ask it. Some guy, some guys, over at R and D at uh, at, <laughs> at Microsoft are like jerking off every time they can get a circle to move or something like well, that. You know, you and they never and they never come and ask me. You know, do I you use. Think that, huh? Do you think that the, when the circle pops up because that's the person speaking, that that might uh, cause people not to talk over one another? No, because they're not watching the show. Uh, oh, they're. Uh, Aren't we on Skype when we're talking? Oh, you're talking here? about that. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't know what it looks like to the third party or whatever. Yeah. You know, but uh, it, it, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go over to the other machine and play with it. You know, <laughs> and see what 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 uh, what makes it uh, work and not work. You know. Yeah. But uh, uh, and I might have to go back and use the Mac to do the show with. You know, that's always a possibility too. Um, yeah, well, if I upgrade this thing later, I'll let you know if it's got circles. 
know. Well, I, well, I won't know until uh, I call in. Actually, well, there, I'll call you. There must you. be somebody out there who already has it installed. You know. And they yeah. could tell us what sure. it's like, rather than me just being surrounded by Republicans. <laughs> oh, Patrick! Patrick raises his hand. Yes, Patrick. Yeah. I've, I've got the circle there. Come up. Yeah. And, and do you see everybody else though? Well, I get four squares. Yeah. They're quartered, you know, on the, on yeah. the screen. Yeah. And at the top right is however many circles. However, you can only see I think two or three people and then if it's more than that it's one circle with a number in it telling you how many other people are uh, up so if they're off the screen how large is your screen it, it um, the the circle itself if if you've got your uh screen right now quartered mm -hmm. uh circle itself is like a quarter of one quarter of the screen well, uh, for instance, uh, right now, you and Alex are quartered on my thing. SG is 50% of the screen, and then I'm in a little box. Yeah, and what I did is uh, you can touch your little box yeah. and move yourself over into the half screen, and then it quarters everything. Oh, I, I am in the half screen. but uh, Oh, and I just clicked on SG, and now he's full screen, and you guys are down in, uh, in the normal... Uh, tape, you know, it looks well, like. So, uh, so when there are when you've been, you've been on with this, when there have been like nine other people, how do you see all the nine people? No, I do. No, I. Oh, not with no, that. I I see. It's either six or seven, and then, like I said, it it four squares, it quartered, and then it. I believe it two circles where I can see the individual in it, mm -hmm. but. About a quarter the size of a quarter screen, yeah. And there's an additional circle to the left of the other two that just a number. So it tells you okay. if there are three other people on the panel. In a like right now, Jeff just popped up. So now I see the four of you guys, well, including me, and then Jeff up in the far right corner as a little <laughs> circle. Oh, okay, yeah. so now. Suppose Jeff starts talking. Does he suddenly get bigger? No. <laughs> white, he gets a white um, circle around himself. And then how do I make him be a quarter of the screen? You can touch him and move him. Uh, you, in, in place of yourself or in place of me. Yeah. Um, like right now, that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to move Jeff into my spot because I don't need to see me but um, so now I'm just up at the top at the rectangle really and so all night long I'm going to have to keep on top of everything else that I do on this program moving <laughs> pictures people's pictures into the screen into the well, you're only going to be able to get four into the screen right so, I mean well, and then it's going to be arbitrary however, whoever you want to be spotlighted you know it um but and everybody else is going to be like i said a circle so now i'm in the upper right hand corner and a, a rectangle it's small yeah. very small and then whoever calls in next will be a circle whoever calls in after that will be a circle and then whoever called after that will all go into one circle with a number so I'll only be able to see six people and then myself. And then after mm -hmm. that, it's, it's just one circle with a number. A number, And, right. when you, and, and I, what happens when you double click on that number? Um, it may give you, it may tell you who it is in there. Yeah. Um, I haven't done that because it, I usually know who's in there. Just, can you, know, can yeah, you but, click on that now? No, because it's not there. Oh. Right now, there's only five of us here. Yeah, but so, if, if let's say it says three there, and you double click on it, will you be able to see all the people that are in that? No, three? you won't be able to see them. So how do you, you how do you manage to bring if, them full screen or quarter screen? Well, <laughs> that's where the problem is. If I want to see, like, if uh, Kevin uh, is showing something, and he's up in the circle, and I've got four people around here. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and I can't see Kevin, but you're saying that what are, what are you what are you showing us, Kevin? What I have to do then is just like playing musical fucking chairs, Alex. I got to click somebody in the circle, move them into somebody else's, and then everybody moves over like one oh, thing, geez. and then once you get to Kevin, I can put him in there. It. I'm used to it because I don't give a shit because I don't need to see everybody. Yeah, well, you're not you know? doing a program here that you want people to see. No, exactly. Yeah. And that's the thing. And I know whose voice is whomever. So if Kevin, and Kevin comes in and Scott and Phil, I just leave them as the four that are up and then everybody else is the circle and, you know, Charlene calls in or whoever. Um, John Rockwell, and unless they're showing something, I don't, I don't give a shit, you know. Um, so then, yeah, you stay up there. But for your purposes, it really would. It it's kind of a pain in the ass if you want to highlight anybody and show what's going on. Hmm. So yeah, I don't have the newest version. Uh, I just found out. But I uh, double clicked, which is something I never did before, and then it put every uh, everyone into a twenty five percent square, uh, yeah. rather than the uh, what I had before, which was like a, a a ribbon at the bottom, and then one large picture. Well, you can do that by taking one per picture and enlarging them. Like here, here, I'll do it, folks, so you can watch and see what he's talking about. See, and then you have all these people along the bottom. Right. Okay. And so if I want to bring Patrick into the picture, then I do that. And if I want to put SG into the picture, I do that. And if I want to put me in there, uh, well, wait a minute, I want to put Phil in there. There we go. And then, if, then I, can, I can make me small. Okay. Yeah. But if I double click, uh, it, it turned it into four. It was interesting. I've never seen that. Uh, uh, yeah, well, Andrew, I wonder what happens if I take this and I try to move this. Will this move? No, that won't move. Okay, well, uh, you know, I mean, uh, who knows? Uh, we may not be doing video on this show anymore. Uh, you know, d d either that or I've got to go to another system, but I, don't, I haven't been able to find one. Uh, if anybody knows of one, and don't, don't say Google Groups. It doesn't. I know, it's... Uh that's good if you're doing a presentation and you have a bunch of people well, yeah, no, there. It, it's meant kind of for podcasts, but the problem with Google Groups is that it, it's just not as accessible to people, you know? With Skype, mm -hmm. everybody has Skype on their machine. You know, some machines come with Skype on it, you know? Um, so it, it, uh, it, it's ridiculous. I, I give up, you know? Uh, maybe it's time to figure out another way. Maybe I should stop doing this as a TV thing. Just continue to do it as a, as, a, as an audio thing, you know, and uh, say to hell with it. Uh, because if I can't if I can't do a good looking program, uh, then I I don't I don't want to do it. What happened to SG? Uh, I lost his camera. SG, yeah, are, you, here. are you there? Yeah. Turn turn your camera yeah. on. Your camera isn't on. Go ahead. Yeah. And uh, by the way, SG, don't uh, don't eat stuff with a knife in your mouth. <laughs> it's not safe. Yeah, but turn on your turn on your camera, SG. Can we can't uh, see? I'm him. here. He might be bleeding. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Wait a minute, it's not it's not going on. Nah. Hmm. Well. Yeah. So. What's going on today? I've been totally devoid of the news. I, the only thing I heard was the uh, Cohen. Uh, Thing. Well, supposedly the uh, the government has a tape of Cohn talking to Trump about this Sharon. What's her name? Uh, I'm trying to remember her last yes. name now. Uh, is that the uh, is that the uh, the? You uh, almost said Hooker, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, the playmate, playmate of the oh. year, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, it's very pretty uh, girl. Yeah, let's see your whole yeah. let's see your whole face, uh, Jeff. You don't have to look like SG. Okay, oh, Roy. So now I understand that she was not paid off. That and um, yeah, she was in a way. Yeah. What happened was, is they got the head of the uh, 
in, uh, inquirer. Have you got a problem, Jeff, getting that camera kind of in center? Yeah, I can't, I can't get it bigger. Tilt, tilt your screen. Tilt, tilt your screen. Towards you. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah there you Not go. Me. Shoulders and your head. Uh, what happened that's was great. is, yeah, that's great. is the, her, her form of payoff was that uh, the National Enquirer, whose publisher is a close friend of Donald Trump, um, uh, 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 offered her a deal uh, to buy an article about her relationship with Trump. And then paid her, or half of it, only about half of it, and then didn't run it. It's called catch and release or whatever. I, I, <laughs> it, 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 it's a yeah. practice in which when you want to hide something, you buy it. Yeah. A and um, uh, there's I guess that's not illegal, is it? Uh, uh, there are some, uh, what was it, some of the, uh, there, yes, it is illegal what they did, and there are some, I forget what the different terms were that were used. Uh, one of them is wire fraud. Well, I hear all of these guys, uh, you know, there's a guy that supposedly invented an engine that runs on water. And so one of the, some car company, and this may be myth, but some it, car it's, company it's bought myth. the it's rights myth. to it's it. It's myth. There was a car that ran on, wa on water. Yeah, it was called Stanley Steamer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, oh, so the, the, this guy who uh, in, in invented an engine. I think, that, uh, I think what it is is it's a guy invented a powder that you add it to water and it becomes gasoline. That was the rumor. Mm. All right. So And supposedly they bought this guy's patent and, uh, and then they buried it so they can continue to sell us fossil fuel. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's a good story. Oh, so it's a story. Uh, I don't think it's a real it, it's, okay. an, it's an urban legend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 yeah. Jeff's having trouble with his camera. Yeah, uh, he's just and, and we can't. A lot. We still can't see you. You're still there, right, SG? Yes. Yeah, but we can't see you. Uh, your... You can't see me, but you feel me. I feel your presence. Yes. Yes. There you go. Uh, so anyway, what, I it, feel it, your pain. What they did <laughs> is he 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 bought this article uh, from her, and then they didn't run it. And they didn't pay yeah. her. They. So they were going to pay her, I think, seventy-five thousand dollars, and they only paid her half of it, or, uh, or uh, one hundred and fifty, and they paid her seventy-five, something like that. It, I think it was more like seventy-five, and they paid her half of that. Uh, but anyway, and she was supposed to get a few articles. She was and, supposed to uh, get. They were going to put. They were going to make her a featured columnist and things like that, and they never yeah. did any of that. Yeah, uh, and. Um, that was the way of shutting her up. And there are supposedly some things called like wire fraud, I heard mentioned, whatever that is. I never, I've always heard that term. Yes, Patrick. I noticed it, it relates to this. It's a little off the beaten path, but it just popped into my head. Um, is Hustler Magazine still around? Yes. Because I, I could remember Flint was looking to pay anybody who would have dirt on, I forget what it, George W. Bush or whatever it was, and I was just curious if whoever's running uh, Hustler now would be interested in, like, her story. Because you, I, that, the, just now it occurred to me that with the way the Trump administration is, if Larry Flint was still around, wouldn't he be all over this shit? Well, yeah, it's just that uh, they paid her for the story, and they own the rights to it. I think. Yeah, right? but but but, I, but I think I think they recently said that they released the rights because of all the flack that was surrounding it. That was for her, not for the the, uh, she, uh, the she, porno star. She no no she could go tell her story somewhere else. I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah that, that's why I was wondering, like with Hustler, why. They wouldn't pick something like that up because isn't that something of interest for them? I mean, they've always had that reputation to try to um, skewer people. Right, right. Uh, I, you know, I, uh, I, I, it would probably you, they probably couldn't get that article. That article, I'm sure, belongs to the National Enquirer, but right. she could retell it. You know, she's already told the story to Anderson Cooper. Yeah, you know. 
So she, uh, she, she certainly, and she certainly didn't get sued for doing that. You know, when her story first went on with Anderson Cooper, I said, between Stormy Daniels and her, I believed her more than I believed Stormy Daniels. I, although I don't disbelieve Stormy Daniels, it was just that I found her more creditable. She was uh, a, a, a nicer person. She didn't look t- uh, sleazy like Stormy Daniels, uh, you know. Uh, she, uh, uh, she in fact is a very religious person, uh, and she now, truly, and, and she, that's, and she, and tru- that's why, yeah, and she truly was in love with with Donald Trump. Correct, but do you think that it was unrequited love, and that's what caused all her consternation? Well, no, I don't think so. No, I uh, think I think she felt that in the end she got treated like shit. Is how I think, she, and it sounded like she was treated like shit. That she went with him for nine months and uh, had a constant relationship going in which he professed his love to her. She says. She says, professed his love to her, and then all of a sudden he was refusing her calls and denying her existence and all those kind of things. Those things happen. Well, no, those things don't happen if you're a decent person. Uh, Yeah, well, I mean, have you ever wanted to break up with somebody? Yes. Uh, you know, and, and, and uh, I've, I, I've had the, the guts to talk to them personally and break up. In fact, I think somebody else broke up, it, it broke up with her for Trump. Well, you remember the girl that was stalking you, uh, that she would call the station. She, she would call like 40 times. And finally, you said, can you do something about it? So I picked up the phone, I talked to her, and I said, I'm going to get Steve the ice pick to take care of you. And she knew who that was. He worked at the Condor as the doorman. And uh, she was afraid of him. I don't don't remember that. uh, Oh, I I vividly remember it. And uh, and then she said to me that I was being too hard on her. (laughs) <laughs> but uh let her you know, down when I, lightly phil let her down lightly yeah so you know when i told her steve the ice pick would talk to her uh you know i never knew that she knew steve the ice pick i just i grabbed it out of the air because i knew him <laughs> and, and so i used his name just as a you know but all i'm saying as, all i'm as saying a veiled is, threat. All, all i'm saying is you can, you can sit there and try and dismiss this woman but really, she seemed, when I saw the interview, pretty creditable and pretty decent, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can attribute to Stormy Daniels all the publicity getting stuff you want to, and you're probably right. But with I'm, this, sure, she, with I'm this, sure he fucked Stormy Daniels. But, I'm sure he did, you know, but, uh, you know, so what? What do you mean, so what? He, was, he just had a baby. His wife was sitting at home. And this is a guy who's so running. He's, he's, this is a guy who's asshole, running to be. You know? This is a guy who's running to be the moral compass of America. He never promised that. All he what said do you mean was he never that promised he would look that. at stuff. That, that is that implicit he, in the job, Phil. And if no, you, if you, listen, if you had heard that Barack Obama was fucking around, you would have been on here putting him down for that. In fact, as a matter of fact, I think the other day. Uh, you were defending uh, 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 Gomert for his comments to this guy about having a mistress. Uh, was I? Yeah, yeah I yes, remember defending yeah, Gomert yeah, or talking about yes, Gomert. Yes, and but... saying, saying, yeah, the guy. Oh, no, a, no, 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 no. Uh, I was talking about Gomert uh, questioning. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then you were right. saying, well, and, and he was a sleazeball for cheating on his right. wife. Well, come well, on. That was you can't have struck, it both ways, that, Phil. Yes, you can. You know, uh, but that was Struck and his lover, and uh, uh, Page, Struck and Page, Page and Struck. Sounds like a uh, legal firm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you know, and those those two, you know, the the things I when you looked at Struck, you just looked at him and said sleeves. No, I, I mean didn't. just no. just his his eyes and his teeth and the, the that, way uh, that's he parsed that's, his smile and mouth. I, I didn't find any of that to be true. Well, that's because you wanted to believe him. Well, that's because you didn't want to believe him. Yes, well, Patrick. I, yeah, I, I got to be honest with you. I looked at Strut, and he reminded me of a little less greasy Scaramucci. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's about it. Could they both have that George W. Bush smirk? 
And that's the thing that I couldn't stand about Strzok. It he constantly sat there yeah. with a smirk. And I and that one thing I mean, I voted for George Bush both times, but I hated whenever he was in front of the camera because you could never believe his sincerity because of that fucking smirk. And Scaramucci had that same smirk. So I was looking at Strzok and I, I was thinking to myself, you just a cleaned up, less greaseball looking Scaramucci. Now, so, have you seen Scaramucci on Fox doing commentary? Oh, he actually I, he I, looks like a class guy now. You yeah, know, I, he's I, wearing beautiful suits and uh, he's well coiffured and he always was. Uh, he always was. But he doesn't and, look like a sleazeball. And he was, and he was no, he was always a sleazeball too. Well, as much as by the uh, way, is who, anybody who is the mayor is of the lieutenant gonna, governor of is, California? Is anybody else going to call the show? Gavin or, Newsom. Or, or do you figure that this show is almost dead in the water now that I'm going to have to use the new Skype? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he he reminds me of Gavin Newsom. But talking about Gavin Newsom, uh, I guess uh, what's her name was uh, let go from Fox today. Uh, Garfoyle. Uh, what's her first name? Kim Kimberly or I don't know. Uh, now, I don't watch Fox. Oh, well, uh, Garfoyle is on that, uh, uh, she's a commentator, and she was married to Gavin Newsom. She was the one that got cheated on. Uh, it seems as though she has left Fox because she's now uh, engaged, or uh, I believe engaged, to uh, Donald Trump's son, uh, Donald Jr. Oh, okay, yeah. Boy, he didn't take uh, long to let the uh, <laughs> grass grow under his feet, did he? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's Kimberly Garfoyle. And uh, she's she's oh, a looker. Oh, uh, so she was what's his name's uh, oh, first okay. wife. First wife. So what did Fox let her go? Uh, yeah. Why they let her that, go? I don't I don't know. That was the it was the headline. I I didn't read too much into it, but I it might have been on CNN. Or did uh, she quit? Headline. Did she quit? Uh, I don't I I don't know, but she's no longer there. No. Yeah. Patrick, you saw it. Patrick. Yeah, she she was pushed out. Yeah, she was forced out because she's uh, going to campaign with her boyfriend, Don Jr. Ah. And she, she, hadn't been, she hadn't been on the show for the past week. So oh. I guess that explains that. Well, maybe okay, they, so it's it, the could be they, it could be they didn't want her being active in politics and also being a reporter on the air, which is uh, which most uh, companies, w uh, m news companies, would say. Yeah. Well, she's not well, really a reporter. No, but that. Um, or uh, commentator or whatever. Huckabee, commentator. Uh, um, uh, Mike Huckabee had to leave Fox. He had some show, and when he decided to run for president, they had to take him he off. He had show. So it's probably the same thing. I think he got a, be, I think he got a show back since then. It's like a weekend show. I, I liked his show. He used to play the sax or uh, the guitar or something, and yeah. Uh, yeah. he was he was fun. He was good. He he would play with other musicians. Uh, he was a he was a normal well, guy. One of the guys I liked. You know, is anybody else going to call tonight? What is this? Not today. It's it's it's, it's, it's Saturday. It's Friday night for Christ's sake. <laughs> Well, I could say something that would make them mad. No, that 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 <laughs> doesn't help. Well, you know, uh, your your mere presence the, is irritating. The, right. Enough, well, the, you know. the court will overturn Roe v. Wade, and now it'll go oh, to the states. <laughs> and and, so, and it, well, that, that'll get Renee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want more? Well, we haven't heard from Renee in a week or so. I don't know what. Yeah, happened I I noticed that. Yeah. I hope. You, I hope, hope everything's okay I there. Hope you're okay. She's not even on the. Uh, she's not even on the. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The. I, uh, uh, Patrick ch chat page. What? Why didn't she going on that uh, adventure thing? Oh, uh, that okay. Working out for and and working up to. Uh, oh, to go up to the volcano? Yeah, or, but I think uh, it's only like yeah. a one-day trip or something, wasn't it? Or yeah. something like no, that? I thought it was like a, a week of oh. thing. Cause I, I thought it was on, um, I don't know if it was on the big island or a different island that she was yeah. going to. Oh, there was a boat that uh, a burning uh, piece of lava went through the roof of it. 
you know, and you, you, uh, a number of people it, got hurt. It, it, it's funny. You get the news like five days late. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I saw it five days ago. It's just that uh, they are no longer allowed to go within 150 feet of the lava. Now they have to stay back 1,000 feet. Uh, I wouldn't go within 5,000 feet of that lava. Are you out of your fucking mind? Well, that lava bomb is what came through the roof and burned, yeah. uh, what was it, 20 or 23 yeah. people? And I don't know what happened to S.G. He just kind of disappeared here. I think he was eating dinner. And uh, he didn't want to keep his camera on while he was eating. Yeah. Well, anyway. Um, gee, well, in, uh, now, if yeah. if all I get is this many people from here on in, I can use the new Skype without any problem. I, that's why I told you it's it's a value. <laughs> you know, I just I, I just it just gets it so it got me so pissed off. You know, so pissed off. Um, what what. It, why can't you just keep servicing the old one? You know? Because what they're trying to do is just force people to do well, something. That's, that's what Microsoft does. That's why they were always getting sued and everybody hated Microsoft until Bill Gates started giving away a lot of money. Well, I mean, at what point? You know what's interesting is at what point did Steve Jobs become an asshole and, and uh, Bill Gates became a hero? I think Steve Jobs became an asshole when he moved into that garage and started making yeah. Apple computers. Well, no, but I mean, it's like <laughs> you, you've never known about and you've never associated Steve Jobs with being a philanthropist. Okay, yeah, That's true, but I don't know if he did those things uh, you know, off the record. No, he didn't do anything. Really, no. for the most part. I mean, he did whatever he did to get, give away his 15% or whatever for tax purposes. Yeah. But it not like not like uh, not like Bill Gates. Gates. You know, it's didn't funny. Gates hire a PR firm when uh, you know there was a time when he was one of the most hated people in America, and uh, I under I think he hired a PR firm to help him change things around, and uh, you know they created the uh, the Bill and Melinda. No, but that, no, uh, that was all Melinda Gates. Think, she, she's yeah. the, she's the one that redeemed his image uh and and what the interesting part was he said he was giving going to give away 90 percent of all his wealth uh to uh, was good, that to, on his death to good works no during oh. his lifetime because he said what do i need i i got so much money i can give away 90 percent of it and i still got enough money to do whatever i want for the rest of my life and nobody should be as rich as I am, and so I'm going to give it away. And he started giving it away, and he's still the second richest guy in the in, in America. <laughs> he it, he he had only something like 45 billion at the time. He's got 75 billion now, and he's been giving it away like crazy. Now, Bezos has 150 yeah uh, it, billion it, today uh, today this week. But yeah. uh, you know is. Is Gates still up at two, or is he? He's at, uh, he's you know, at, he's people at, that he's have at, surpassed he's, him. He's at like a hundred and a hundred or something like that, hundred billion. Yeah, yeah, he's number two. Wow. Number three is uh, what's his name? That uh, Kardashian. No, woman. no Facebook. <laughs> no, uh, she she's only worth a billion or two billion, but she's the only uh, nine hundred million. If she's the only almost billionaire uh, right. to make it at that age, right. Uh, Zuckerberg, I guess, was the other one. Zuckerberg, I think, is third. Yeah. Uh, but not for long. At the rate that company's going and the kind of re reaction to it that people have. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, it's the new evil. And, you know, even grandpas and grandmas are stopping the use of Facebook. Now, people aren't using Facebook like they used to. They're mm -hmm. tired of all the extraneous stuff. I mean, it, I, I get people that post uh, anti-Trump stuff. Uh, just it, it's it's really old, you know. Yeah, I I, um, I only yeah. do it just to, you know, keep my presence. That That's all the yeah. only reason I don't. I've stopped really posting political statements on there because all of a sudden you get all this bullshit from people, you know. You yeah. say something, you just want to say something. You don't need everybody to suddenly... And then by the time Comment, you get right. down to the bottom of the thread, they're not even talking about what you wrote about. 
That's right. You know, yeah. they're already on to uh, cooking tips. You know, I don't know I, how you do it with five thousand followers. You know, I can I, I got uh, about three, four hundred, and I, I, I don't want to see anything from anybody. You know, I'll post what I want to post, and that's it. I've and got I don't four, mind the I've messenger got, I've got forty-five thousand on uh, Twitter. And still, I thought yes. that they were going to eliminate those accounts. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, because uh, Twitter said that they were eliminating thousands and thousands of well, accounts. Well, as of now, as of right now, as of this moment, okay. Uh, so they haven't caught you yet. I have uh, 43,700. And what did you have a couple of weeks ago? 43,800. Oh, really? So you haven't lost uh, many? No. No, I mean, I've All lost right. from the beginning when I bought them. Yeah, so when you bought them, uh, what did you have, 50 or 60? I, I think I had 48, 49, something like oh, that. And that's that was it. A Looks like I think Patrick has his hand up. I know. I, Patrick you can't does see have his the... hand up. Is anybody else going to call this fucking program tonight? <laughs> or, or we... All I could see was his thumb. I mean, I've got some nice people here, but, geez, you know, we, we like to have a round-robin discussion. Yes, go ahead, <laughs> Patrick. See, on, on my Facebook, if I post something... Mm -hmm. You know, and up political versus you posting something political and it ends up in cooking tips. Mine goes the other way, and I'm pretty innocuous when I post stuff. Yeah, I tend not to post much on politics, but there are a few people that like to just open it up for no reason. So, and I just leave them at at. I don't defend anybody. I don't block anybody. Let them do their thing, but I, it, for the same reason, you know, when I did do it a few times, yeah. you just get hammered, and like you said, all you want to do is say this, 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 and this, and that's it. I block everybody. I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody doing nothing. I even unfriended my mother. <laughs> yeah. We've been joined by we've been, we've been joined by Jack Bishop who has to turn his camera on, but we've been joined Thank by you him. For reminding me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, I just got God. a notification on my uh, on my Skype. You got the one that I was telling you about. Huh? Yeah, but it, it it didn't say I had to do it. It said we are going to soon be, you know, mm. deactivating this version. Uh, but I've seen that threat before, and they don't. So. <clears throat> Well, uh, let's you know, just sue the bastards. You know, I haven't gotten any uh, uh, messages on my Skype. Yeah, but, you're, you, but you're, you're, you're using a Mac. I'm using, yes. you know, if I go to my Skype on my, uh, on my <laughs> Mac, let me see if anything comes up as I start saying, hey, this is an old version. Uh, see, what happens is they forget a lot about Macs. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> you know, uh, Okay, so my Mac is uh, zo zooming around. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go, and it doesn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. And if well, I maybe was... Mac is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mac this the week. knife. Yeah. McDonald's. I may have to McDonald's. go. I, no, I may have to go to doing the show on the Mac. Yeah. Although I don't yeah. like the way it renders on the Mac particularly, but... Uh, let me see here. Where uh, use my old one because it's check it's check powerful. Update. It's a lot. They say uh, Skype just got better. If you want to install the latest version, no. Right. Uh, dismiss. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that that so they haven't gotten around to uh, uh, the Mac yet. Uh, well, maybe yeah. somebody will come up with a shareware and and solve the whole damn problem. Well, I wish somebody. I wish uh, by now you would have thought there would be somebody competing with Skype. But there isn't. That's the problem. Well, somewhere in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, there's a 16-year-old boy he hasn't come out of his room in six months oh. who's working on the solution. Oh, well, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, you, you would have thought by now somebody would have come up with other things besides Skype. There are other things. I mean, there Jeff, are... Jeff has this. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Well, my question is, we use Skype all the time now, all of us, okay? Yeah. Is who's getting compensated for that? Um, to begin with, I pay Skype uh, at least uh, 15 bucks every three months for a phone number. Oh, 
And yes, I also sure. pay them for any calls I make, like when I call uh, Bubbles or I call uh, Stephen Pearl. Mm -hmm. uh, I pay for that. What's wrong with you? You can't hold a signal, uh, Jack? Yeah. Uh, I can't hold a uh, I can't Candle. open the picture. Yeah. yeah. It freezes up. Yeah. Well, but it does that almost every night as I get started. And then finally it stays. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's why I call you sometimes just yeah. to get it unfrozen for the intersection, which is coming along here in 40 minutes. Yeah. Well, you have to warm the tubes up in your set? No, I got to get the gas jet yeah. turned up high yeah. enough, you know. But See, anyway, I've got a gas powered computer. So I don't know uh, how this show is going to render under the new system. And so I may give up doing the video version of this altogether. Unless I can find, if uh, uh, you guys, if I were to say go to something else that I found, another system, would you guys all follow me over there? I guess you, you would, should. but Jack might not. You are my leader. I'm like I'm like Sammy Davis to your Sinatra. I will follow you. Yeah, I just I just wish there were an alternative, you know, a good mm -hmm. alternative, but there isn't. Well, I've got this. Um... By the way, by the way, I did find we we we've been using a thing called Log Me In here, right. so that you know, uh, for instance, Jack can post his shows and send his files over to me and all of that, and it allows him to take the server computer and, and run it like it's his own desktop, okay? And we've been using LogMeIn, and they went up, they went, the price started at 99 bucks, and then it went to 150, and then it went to 250, and this year they're gonna make it 350, and I went, that's bullshit, I can't do that, I gotta go look somewhere else. So I find this thing called Remote PC, and for the first year, it's six dollars and ninety five cents for the year. <laughs> is is go to my PC the free one? No, they, they bought they bought log me in. Oh, they're now all part of that cabal. Okay, and, and in fact, I was told I wrote log me in. I said, how can you know this is price gouging? And they wrote me back and they said, well, we've been bought up by another company and they have to pay for it. Yeah, or <laughs> and you I'm, do. And I'm going, <laughs> no, I don't. So anyway, so this place is six ninety five, and then after the first year, it's sixty nine ninety five. Okay, still a bargain at any uh, uh, a bargain. So we go over to this new system. Jack, is it any different from Logman? I mean, do you have Just any, the, you probably have the less? Big, what? The biggest problem I had was the first night when I still had the log me in. Uh, thing software. on my desktop and it and i got screwed up as to where i was going you yeah. know what i mean yeah but i'm saying once you got used to it yeah, it's, got, yeah, once it's you get as used good to it, and it's more reliable just, and easier than yeah. log me in so here is a, a company who's come up with an easier system of doing the same thing for six dollars and 95 cents a year fuck Maybe you we're log me them in about taking on skype have, uh, there's there's something that they use uh, in uh, in my co-op called uh, Go to Meeting. Uh, and well, no, but I, I just uh, we were just talking about that. The Go to Meeting. Yeah, that was they bought Log Me In. No, no, that was Go to My PC. No, Go to go Meeting. To, oh, okay. Go to My PC is another share uh, program. Yeah. But because uh, my IT guy put it on my computers so that he could. Log on to them and yeah. Well, deal I've with got them. I've got it so I can go on to Jack's computer. He's the only guy I'm doing it with, mainly because he's so bad at doing stuff that I can just go on there and do it for him. This this go to meeting is I'm like Metro Media or something. Say it. I'm a luddite. I'm proud to be a luddite. Yeah. I would be. You want to stay that I don't way. have any skins. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so this go to meeting is uh, like Metro. Uh, Metro Media, something uh, like that. No, but it's... that's the company that bought Log Me In. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and that's the reason why they have to raise it to three fifty. <laughs> three fifty a year, and that's that's for one user. Do you know how many machines for one for two machines? Two machines. Yeah. Do you know how many machines I get for six ninety five? Ten. Yeah. Well, Phil Meyer is a great entrepreneur, being a Republican. Here's an op here's a business opportunity for you, Phil. Yeah, unless it's out of, it, it, out of the carpet business, find yourself some programmers in India. Be a real man. 
Hey, you know, unless it's got fuzzy stuff on the top, it's out of my pay grade. You know, <laughs> and you know what? Well, is? I, I've always been of the opinion, though, that if uh, if you're an entrepreneur, it doesn't matter. You, you know how to make businesses run. You know what? They, Suppose, you know what? You know what Mac is. What, it, what Mac is doing with the next iteration of Mac, although it won't work on my machine here, the next OS, because um, my machine is being phased out as one of the ones you can update. Um, but of course, I could take that Mini Mac and do it with the Mini Mac is that you'll be able to do groups with FaceTime, which you weren't, haven't been able to do up until now. Uh, yeah. And uh, that, may solve, that may be a way of solving the problem, but then again, mm. the only people that have FaceTime are people with, with Macs. So, you know. No, every, I think everybody can get FaceTime, no, can't they? No, I, no. Isn't it a downloadable nope. program? Nope. Oh. No. You get, it's, well, what about those programs that supposedly convert Mac programs to Windows programs. I think it's the other way around. It's the other way around. The other Macs, the, yeah. Yeah. The the reason I finally got a Mac was when uh, when Mac. See, he, it, it, it was strange. Mac. The Macs were not. Uh, what were they? They were. They were. They were using. I can't remember what system they were using. Is their system Unix. But, Unix, it, no, no, they, they it, oh, before it, that, it, it, no, it is Unix now, as a matter of fact. Yeah. It, it, but the the it, oh, it, it, the, so proce the processor yeah. system, they went to Intel, okay, uh -huh. and the minute they went to Intel, all the PCs were Intel as well. So they came up with a program you could have that would allow you to run PC programs on the Mac. Yeah, virtual PC or Vir something. Yeah. Uh, and then there were a lot of other companies that came out with programs that even did it better than they did it, where you didn't have to leave your main screen. You could do it right from there. So that's when I was sold uh, uh, completely on the Mac because I could use all my old PC programs. As it was, I found out that I never did use them, but I could, I could do it. Now, because it was Intel, you could run PC programs on the Mac. But you couldn't run the Mac programs on a PC because Apple put a little piece of code in there that made it impossible for you to play a Mac <laughs> program on a PC. If they didn't put that little thing in there, you could run Mac programs on the PC. But mm. they, they, they went the other way. And nobody sued them over that. Nobody. Yes, Jack. I got the solution. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it right away. Well, is this a have the this Russians a, hack into the system and do it? Have what? The Russians hack the Russians. into the systems and do it. Yeah, Russians, if you're listening, hack into Skype and make it so they can't change uh, their uh, their versions. Now, now, and everybody beat Trump up when he said to the Russians, "Why don't you find those emails that Hillary?" Uh, well, uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, but he did. He did it on the same day they discovered that uh, the hacking was going on. You know the, uh, the the hacking of the uh, of the I, uh, Democratic oh, was uh, it headquarters. the same day? Yes, or was, yes, oh, oh, okay. yes. So that was public knowledge. Well, the what, same day it became well the the, the what you thought he was saying as a joke. He may have been saying as something he knew. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's what I was alluding to. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, he was very quiet today, by the way. You know, when he goes from the White House to the helicopter, and by the way, he takes that helicopter ride to New Jersey so he can play golf all weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah, how much do you think that helicopter costs him to use, okay? Doesn't uh, cost him a dime. Well, of course it doesn't cost <laughs> him a dime. Cost us. So, yeah. so, he, he, so uh, between the White House and the helicopter, the press corps is standing there. And they're shouting out questions to him, and he usually stops and engages them, and starts answering questions and so on. He mm -hmm. kind of does his own press conference going to the helicopter. Today, Mr. President, what about these tapes that supposedly Cohn has? And he just went straight for the fucking helicopter. He didn't stop. He's learning. It, it he's was learning. like nobody was there. Yeah, he's learning. Yeah. Uh, he's learning. He, he, I think he finally realizes he's in deep fucking shit. I don't think so. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that. I don't think there's anything illegal about what he did. Well, we will see. Hopefully, we got enough people in the U.S. Congress that got some balls, mm -hmm. or at least some people who like revenge, who will go after him. 
There are, Phil, Phil, there are several legal ramifications to this. I can't remember all of them. I think one of them I heard was wire fraud. Uh, yeah, but I don't think you can indict a sitting president uh, for any of these things. No, you can't, in, you can't indict him, but you can impeach him. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, but then you'd... What, the reason that Clinton was impeached no, no, but no. not put out of office was that he Be- was impeached by one... No, uh, no, no, because he went, the, they went to the Senate after the impeachment, which is, right. an, is the indictment, okay? Right. He was uh, never impeached. It, 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 he was never impeached because they went to the Senate, and the Senate didn't vote to, uh, to find him guilty. Right. Okay. So that's what I was saying. There was one uh, arm of the yeah. House so, and, uh, so and the no, you, Senate. No, you can't charge a president with anything while he's in office, but you can impeach him. Okay? Yeah. Which is essentially the same thing. You're indicting him. Right. But uh, unless the Republicans lose the Senate, then uh, I don't think anything could happen, right? Uh, but he can be indicted once he leaves office, and hopefully he'll wind up at a federal prison with some old black dude like me named Rashawn, who hasn't uh, no, he'll, any, he'll, in five years. There'll be a pardon, uh, because the and, next Republican... And, uh, and, well, the thing is, we pardon presidents in this country because we're a bunch of pussies. We think that putting the bastards in jail is going to lead to some downfall of the government bullshit. bullshit how does that work how did that work for Pol Pot and a few of his Cambodian buddies that's that's what countries like that do and uh, that their... should be <laughs> okay you know I mean seriously seriously you know the problem with this country is Americans want to play nice with each other that's out the time has passed. Actually, the, the, the problem is is that nobody is playing nice now the thing is these guys are still playing nice with each other these guys are still, you know, you know, like, for instance, was it Maxine Waters uh, who uh, some yahoo from my state said, if you were a man, I'd tell you to fill your hand. Or, or was it, or was it uh, uh, Jackson Lee down in Houston? I can't uh, Maxine remember. Maxine Waters is the one that only yells, impeach 45, impeach 45. And that's what everybody <laughs> on the Democratic side should be yelling. Well, that's what she's yelling. Well, well, that's what everybody on the Democratic side should be yelling, and those that aren't should be their funding from the Democratic National I, Committee I, should I, cut off. I can't say that I'm I'm for impeachment uh, because of just I, it, the the sheer devastation of it and the, the toll it takes on the country. The toll it what took is, on the what, country. What would be the, Alex, I ask you, and people that say that, what would be the damn toll? Well, I mean, it, it, uh, here's my feeling about it and call me wrong and call me terrible but no, the fact I won't call is, you that. but but the fa- call me for dinner uh, uh they we'll uh, call you late. The, no the thing is that uh i think that once we elect somebody president you live with it you know Why? you live with it and then 4 years later you work your ass off to get the bastard out of out of there if you if you realize you got a son of a bitch that's screwing up your country well, no, wait a minute. Or, wait a minute. or violating the law. It, it, you see, here's the thing. To you, he's screwing up your country. To Phil, he's not screwing up our country. No, he's to pa- Patrick, right and are, I, and I, I don't know how Patrick, how do you feel? Is he screwing up our country, Patrick? 50-50. 50 okay. if we're str- All right, look. If we're not strong enough to live through that, then we're not strong enough to be Americans. Well, what I'm saying is... Is that there's nothing uh, that we really sh- can't do anything for four years, okay? And under the, our presence, uh, 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 you know, I, I would say, you know, uh, under yes, our system, I, I, I would get rid of the whole electoral college deal because otherwise Hillary would be president right now, and the person with the most votes would win. Yeah, you know, with person with it, it, he keeps forgetting he was not elected by a majority of the people. He won the electoral college by playing the electoral game. That no, it's not a game. That's the rules. It That's is the game. way it works. It is a game. <laughs> it is the game that we are stuck with because we have this dickhead double system that no other country, no other democracy has. We're a republic. 
well, you know, I, I, Republic. Phil, Phil, right. Phil, Phil, Phil. No other representative Republican. Phil, how That's do, 250 how, years old, what we're functioning how under. Do, how do you feel about the fact that your vote doesn't count? Uh, it does it, uh, No, it in did, some ways. It didn't this time, and it didn't in the case of George uh, Bush uh, uh, Jr. But it, it did when I voted for Reagan. Yes, but you know it. it but that was thirty it, years ago. It's funny right. that the electoral college has been in line with the popular vote almost every time in American history, but there have been exceptions. I think three times in the last forty years, something like that. Something like so, that. So it's because so, of the population shifts. Yeah, and and the way we gerrymander and do things like that that cause these problems to occur. And I think we have to relook at the electoral system and say, hey, it should be one person, one vote, and the person who gets the most votes wins. It's, okay, they do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It, they do that on American Idol. If you, know? you live, but this is an American Idol. If you lived in a state that would ne their voters would never get any uh, 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 retribution because uh, they don't have the population and they're not getting representation, you would feel the opposite way. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, okay, there's a majority of Democrats in California, there's a majority of Democrats in New York, so therefore those states are going to go. But why would you let just two states command uh, the entire selection process when uh, 48 other states are not getting their just due? Well, well, let me ask you this. Why should those other states have a do when we only use this electoral uh, college nonsense for the top office? If you, you're said representation, it is your congressman and your senators that represent you, not yes, the president. But, they're, but those are done statewide, not nationally. When you take the presidential election, it's a national election. When you vote for your senator words, or congressman. Supposed to be, are you saying it should be a beauty pageant? Maybe that's the problem we have well, right now. Unfortunately, you got to have hair to be president, but uh, you know the and it is a beauty pageant uh, because the American people aren't really worthy of uh, of uh, of this great system that we have because they vote for the guy with the best hair rather than the guy with the best position. No, the problem we have with the American voter is the American voter cares more about football than he cares about his government well uh, you know uh i i don't i don't know about that uh, but i do know that i don't want two states dominating the other 48 well that's uh, why I, that that's why i've said time and time again on the intersection it's time to break this country up into smaller units i know but wait a minute phil by saying that then you should be against the electoral college no i'm no, for the electoral let me finish college. let me finish phil huh? Because then it is just pure vote, whether no. the, it, it, the people in Montana are voting for this guy or not voting for this guy. All it's, I'm saying is that, it, 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 in other words, it wasn't the size of states that made Hillary win the popular vote. No. Uh, it, yes, it was. No, it because wasn't. It was California uh, that, uh, that most of these three million votes came from. Okay. So you're saying those three million votes should be discounted? No, not at all. Well, but they were. California they were. Get they were. So many but they were, Phil. Votes. They were, Phil. Yes, but they get so many electoral votes based on their uh, population. So well, everybody but, gets at least three. Correct. Okay. And, and, at and least you want to take three. those away from uh, states? With, no, uh, but I'd like. Uh, but I'd like to base it on their population. Well, it is, isn't it? No, no, it's not. No. That's what it's historically based on. No, but it's, so but it's, it's a population. But it's, it doesn't fit anymore. And states like South Dakota and states like Nevada can get the same um, equality as states like New York or Florida or California um, or even Texas, for that matter, by population. It's the same as how we choose... How many uh, congressional how districts? How many congressmen yeah. we have from each state? I mean, not everybody has the same. We all have the same number of senators, too, but it depends on what state and how big it is, like Vermont versus Wisconsin versus California. It, 
all distributed to equalize the population, so everybody's equally represented. Not the- everybody is equally represented. I just took a look at the congressional map for my congressional district, and it looks like oh. nothing that has anything to do with the counties that I live in and around. You got one, there's one county that has this one long, thin rope. Hey, yeah. That goes out into the middle of nowhere so a certain congressperson could get elected because there were more voters from their party out that way. Hey, by the way, way, we've been joined joined by Brian Ludwig, who brought ice cream and is going to share it with the rest of us. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, My days of eating ice cream are over. What kind of ice cream is that, uh, Brian? Uh, Look like peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter, yeah. Chocolate peanut butter. Don't want me. You know, I was so proud tonight. I had my salad uh, for dinner, and I checked my uh, uh, sugar level. It was 108, and I, I I was jazzed. I'm not going to oh, eat Bob anything. Hmm? Good. Bob's salads are pretty good. I'll eat those every once in a while when I'm on the road and whatnot. Mm-hmm. What's, yeah. What salad? Cobb salad. Cobb salad, yeah. The problem with Cobb salad, though, you got some corn in there. And that that is empty calories. Uh, but sugar. And, and sugar. Uh, I I usually, uh, but uh, co- but I, salads, you're pretty good sticking with salads. Yeah. 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 And Phil, you can, uh, are you taking any medication? Oh shit! Am I, mean, I taking for your diabetes? Are you taking any medication? Oh, oh yeah, I Are take uh, metformin, and then before I eat anything that has some carbs, uh, like I had a, a hot dog this afternoon, mm-hmm. uh, I took a glipizide, which will lower your. Uh, uh, let thing. me let me tell you what uh, my endocrinologist told me years ago. All right, both of those are caca. If you really want to control your sugar, stop eating the shit that. No, out. no, no! You do what your body does for, or did for you at one time. You get on insulin, uh, and it gives you much more flexibility and much better control. Yeah, the problem with insulin yes. is that uh, once you get on it, you have to test like five, six times a day. No, you uh, don't. You no, have you to. Don't. You have to no, know. I'll tell you, you that. Uh, my my nutritionist. If you uh, if you are going to eat something uh, that has carbs in it, you got to know how many units of insulin you're going to give right. yourself. Do you know how many? All right, I've been on insulin or some kind of insulin mm-hmm. or some kind of insulin substitute now for 25 years. Have you heard of this Victosa stuff? I'm taking uh, not Victosa. I'm taking Trulicity. I take one shot a week. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. Same a friend kind of, of mine's thing. doing that. And he lost uh, 24 pounds since January. Yeah, I have lost, uh, since going on it, I have lost uh, about 15 pounds. Uh. But look, you know, it's a minor inconvenience to have the kind of flexibility that I well, have. I asked my doctor to get me the Victosa, and he says, just stop eating carbs. <laughs> you know, and and you right. won't need it. Alex will tell you how hard that is, right, Alex? What? Eating, stopping the carbs. No. I, I didn't because, buy, I didn't. because you have carbs and things that you are not even aware that has carbs. There's carbs in air. I, just, I, I can tell you the carbs in just about everything since I went on this diet. Yeah. And how, how long did it take you to learn that? Uh, well, it doesn't uh, take that long. Uh, it you doesn't read take the that book. long. All you got to do is look at the back of a box of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know. Look, I mean, also, like, instance, uh, like, on like, that on that ice it. cream, uh, uh, Brian. Look at the thing that says, uh, uh, "Is it carbohydrates?" Would be that. It, it, well, no, be, it's on, it's be on carbo- the other side. Carbohydrates. Yeah, it's on that side, right? It, it'll say three things. It'll say calories, carbs, and sugars. Yeah, yeah. And, and under carbs, it'll also say sugars and dietary fiber. That's right. Well, under total carbohydrate, it reads sixteen grams, five percent. Dietary fiber, one gram, four percent, and sugar is ten grams. See, ten. Yeah, yeah. That's where so, you, that's where you're getting the majority of your grams, in, and that's just yeah. for one portion, which may be two scoops. 
yeah. or to, to bites. But yeah. I'll say this. You know, a lot of people are, are afraid of insulin. Yeah, I, they shouldn't be. I'm, you know, I'm not afraid of the needle. It's not the needle. They're afraid of insulin. You know, I've been in. <laughs> By the way, three- I, I saw this thing on TV where they have this new thing for checking your insulin, and it's a little meter, and you just put it up to your arm. And That's it, what and, I'm and, wearing. Wait a minute. Wait, unless, unless well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But they, they don't want to give that they've to you. They've got this round That's, thing. Yeah. That's what I'm wearing right now. Yes. Yeah. And every five minutes, uh, it tells okay, you. Okay. But wait what, a minute. Wait a minute. How is that attached to you? Is it like a needle going through your arm? Uh, it is less of an invasionary process than testing. your finger? Than pr- pricking your finger. Uh it lasts but, but, but wait a minute, but wait a minute, wait a minute. How, how does it check your blood? Does it actually have a I, needle that goes in to your arm? Uh, it, 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 if it's a needle, it is the smallest damn needle I've ever encountered. I, I don't even notice it. And how do you stick it to your arm? How do I stick it to my arm? I mean, is it? It's got, it, uh, it's got an adhesive strip to it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And taking it off because of the adhesive strip is much more uncomfortable than putting it on. So do you take a shower with that? Yep. Swim with it. Shower with it. So have you, sex you permanently with it, have, I can have talk to have that thing so, because you don't want to prick your finger. Uh, the problem with pricking your finger, if you are a diabetic and have been one as long as I've been, and I've been a diabetic now for 35, 36 years, is it tears up your fingertips. Well, mm-hmm. since I started taking it's Plavix. Like guitar. Since I started taking Plavix, by the way, a, a Jerry thinner. Lewis word. Go ahead. Plavix. <laughs> Plavix. Uh, but since I started taking Plavix, uh, it, it, when I prick my finger, I, I get the blood very easily now uh, <laughs> because uh, you know I'm on blood thinner. So you know what kind? Of, blood, you know what? You know You know what kind of vitamin Jerry Lewis used to take? Riboflavin. Riboflavin. Ah, <laughs> uh, but Phil, over yeah. time. Your fingertips will develop calluses. Mm-hmm. Well, they and, did be when I was in the carpet business. I mean, okay. You know. All right. So if you got calluses now, you will find that over time you will start having trouble getting blood out. Okay. Yeah. Let me uh, let me go check with uh, uh, Patrick here. He's had his hand up there. I, I'm not diabetic, but I do have to go periodically to get my blood checked because I'm on blood thinners. And... The needle that they use, I don't even feel it going in, which I appreciate because yeah. I hate needles. And you'd be surprised that I hate needles if you knew my medical history. I've been through so many different damn surgeries and so many hospitals ever since I was basically uh, 12 hours old. And if you ever want information from me, any information, you come at me with a syringe, and I will tell you anything <laughs> I've ever done, ever in my life, or ever thought about doing, or what I know about people. That, absolutely. And I, if I ever became a diabetic, I would probably do exactly what you have there on the back of my arm. Mm-hmm. I would scream like a, like a baby putting it up, because just... The thought of putting a, even a little needle in repels me. And I had to give myself um, injection um, after my past surgery for uh, blood thinners. And I can't feel anything below my chest. But there are some nerves that are alive. And you know damn well right, I hit them motherfuckers every once in a while. <laughs> and it is the worst fucking thing then if you were to just have full feeling down there, because then you know it's going to hurt. But, yeah. You I get surprised. Yeah, I, I can't do the, the, oh. the needle thing. Damn. Yeah, and, and, I, and, and as we're... As that, that you'd rather have a dildo jammed up your ass and have a needle in your skin. Yeah. Well, uh, and, and by the way, uh, just remember that Brian is sitting here listening to all of this, working on trying to get diabetes. No. So uh, he's yeah. doing a good job, and he's doing a well, good not job of it. Necessarily, you know, diabetes is not caused necessarily I, by. I, the, I used to have sugar like crazy, and I, yeah. I I never had diabetes. Yeah, you I know, don't it, get, it, it, if I don't it, get it, diabetes, it'll be something else. So you know what? Fuck it. 
Well, it is a uh, hereditary. It's a, real, it's a real pain in the ass to to get sick. Trust me. <laughs> it is a, a diabetes is a hereditary condition. Uh, if I was told because of my family history on both sides, and you know, some people say, "Oh, something runs in the family." It gallops through both sides of my. But family. you don't have to be a diabetic. If I would have known well, then here, what I know now. Well, here's what my I doctor. Here's what my doctors told me after uh, uh, they did the family history thing. Yeah. They said, if I had have continued to exercise and weigh what I weighed as a senior in high school, I would have become a diabetic. My mother's older brother, who was always a very active man and never weighed more than 170 pounds in his life, became a diabetic. Yeah, my hey, grandfather, who was an active man, worked hard for a living, and another guy who never put on a lot of weight. At uh, sixty, he became a diabetic. Well, you know, it, the weight is a factor, but it's not everything. Brian, do you have any symptoms? Like, do you have dry mouth? Uh, do you have maybe some vision issues that change? Oh, excuse on me, you? ladies and gentlemen, uh, the doctor is in. Yeah. Uh, so, for instance, uh, do you do you find yourself really thirsty at times, and, uh, and 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 having dry mouth? These are some of the symptoms that are you get as a pre-diabetic. Well, that's not to die as a pre. Because here's the way I look at it philosophically: you're destined to die sooner or later of something as a precondition for living. But you don't have to make it a miserable death. That's yeah. right. That's Not why he's eating the ice. Up. That's why he's eating the ice cream Dr. now. Kevorkian caught us up. <laughs> you don't have yeah. to make it. You don't have Ka to make Kevorkian's it. Kevorkian's dead. He he doesn't have to fight that battle anymore. Yeah, yeah but he he helped a lot of people who did have to fight a harsher battle than yeah, he Yeah, because they they were in pain from cancer and and all <laughs> sorts of uh, you know other issues. You don't have to be. You know, I mean, you could drive off a cliff. It's a lot easier. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but he was using chemicals and whatnot. They were very humane. The way you would put down a beloved pet would yeah. be the same way he would put, yeah, put didn't down. Didn't he pull people. up in his Volkswagen bus and people would get in the back of the bus and he'd uh, uh, attach his Kevorkian machine and uh, they, they'd end up dying? Unfortunately, yes. But that's that's only the way I want to die, in the back of a Volkswagen that's bus. Because your government... Your your gov your your uh, your government uh, advocates limited government, except when it uh, except when it comes to what one does in the bedroom or how one wants to. So you mean in, in all the years that Clinton was president and Obama was president, uh, and, and and it's been the same thing. Yeah. it's it's my government. When I say your government, I'm not just referring to you, Phil. I'm referring to establish all establishment people who, who is, but especially the Republicans who preach a good who think they preach a good game about liberty well, limited government but no that's only because the constitution says that they're all guaranteed uh life liberty in the pursuit of happiness and you know that's that's why they don't like abortion because uh, uh yeah i was just not, i was just i was just thinking tonight it'd be nice not the pursuit of life it'd be nice well, to, it'd be, just suicide yeah. somebody who can't off themselves because they're physically and physiologically incapable of doing so how are you compare what 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 what, what uh, world are you able to make these apples and oranges comparisons it's very simple uh there are people that uh commit suicide every day uh we've had a lot of celebrities lately uh that did it k as kate spade oh. robin williams uh you know i mean now is is are there penalties for committing suicide sure you don't get insurance for your family uh roseanne barr <laughs> <laughs> well how is that uh, uh suicide Phil but, Phil, look, uh, I had a dear, a dear friend that died uh, of Parkinson's, yeah. which is a horrible, horrible death. And those of us who knew him and loved him all said that if we, could, if we had the courage to do it, we would have killed him. Yeah. But we didn't have the courage. You, you, you know the great thing about Parkinson's is you can what Trump you, had you, to that. You, you, no, you can uh, you, you can make a great martini. Uh, <laughs> yes, Patrick. 
You can do your own dance moves. Yeah, I, I, I've been in, I've always been in support of assisted suicide in extreme cases. Uh, As a You know, like cancer, thing, things like that. And I, I, and I believe you need to go through a psychiatric uh, evaluation to make sure you know what you're doing, that it's not just an off-the-hand suicide. But what really solidified my view on that is when I became paralyzed and I was in the hospital and I was there for six weeks, there was a, mm. a kid, he was 17, he was a tetraplegic, which mean basically all he could do would blink his eyes. And that's it. But he had full function of his brain. He understood what you were saying, but all he could do was blink. And all that I could think of... So that's even worse than the quadriplegic. While I was there, was this poor kid is only 17, and we are not allowed to give him the option of if he wants to stay blinking his eyes from now until he's 75, 80, 90 years old and never be able to do anything with his life. I mean... How do you know that he can't? You know, you got a guy like Stephen Hawking. Yeah, I, I knew that was coming, Phil. Yeah. The difference is Hawking could speak through a... It was a synthesizer. This kid would basically a set of blinking eyes in a wheelchair. Uh, but, it, but blinking eyes can create uh all right uh, phil do you want to live that way no but oh, it's, okay then shut I, up but I should have had, he, the point that i'm making phil is when i was in therapy with him he went near me many times depending on what we were doing they would throw a ball at him okay and he would never catch it obviously you yeah. know what the fucking therapist would say to him good job and i was thinking about <laughs> In this kid's head, he's probably fucking crying and yeah. screaming, just fucking kill me. And, and the point I'm making, Phil, is once he would reach 18, shouldn't he be given the option, because he was totally cognitive from what I understood, yeah. to be able to say, you know what? This is bullshit. No, you, you, read, Patrick, the, you Patrick, read the book on right. logarithmia. By uh, Victor Frankl. Did you ever ask? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let let Brian let Brian All talk. Right. Okay. Or ask him by any chance on the side when nobody was around. Uh, blink. Uh, I, I don't mean to be crass or anything. But would you want your life to be taken? Uh, blink once for yes or, or or once for no, twice for twice for yes. See? Did you ever ask him anything like that? Me. Yeah. Or no. did you know of anybody who did? not my it, one it wasn't my place and two i would i was freshly paralyzed i mean i was dealing with my own shit but yeah. all i could think of it how grateful i was that my paralysis was merely just the loss of my legs my bowel my ability to piss on my own and feeling from the chest down at least they had my arms yeah, my yeah you, you 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 have all the all the all the rest of things going for you yeah, hey listen he, even quadriplegic who don't have the use of their arms fully, they can drive the, you know, yeah. can talk. Listen, I got to go. We've run out of time, and Jack's waiting to do a show yeah. next. That's why he left us. Uh, uh, Phil, thank you so much for spending time with us tonight, as well as Absolutely. Jeff. You've been a little quiet tonight, Jeff. Not didn't have much to say. Yep. But uh, we enjoy having you there anyway because it looks like there are people calling the program. Uh, yeah, thanks to Jack who just left us. Thanks to, uh, of course, to Patrick and then and to Brian, ladies and gentlemen, and SG and SG who never really said anything uh, this evening, which is unusual for SG. Anyway, mm -hmm. I'm Alex Bennett, and and that's our our uh, that's our citizens panel for tonight. Uh, what would be nice is if you would all give them a big uh, wave goodbye and we can say goodbye to you, okay? Uh, that's our citizens panel, folks. Uh, a small one tonight, uh, but nevertheless a lot of fun and people we enjoy talking to and, 
and we'd like you to be one of them too. Uh, I'll be back again uh, next uh, Tuesday night. No shows until Tuesday night, uh, but the uh, the intersection is next, so there is a show. And uh, also Connections, a brand new episode at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, we'll see you, uh, let's see, Tuesday. I'd like to say after Damien's show, but he's not going to be doing a show Tuesday. So I'll be here at 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>